So what's out here? Ah, my liver and kidney detox. Let's unbox this and do a little review for you. So inside this beautiful box we have the kidney and liver detox, two separate detoxes. Nicely packaged. Starting with the liver detox. So here we have the detox tincture, the liver and gallbladder tincture, and a fresh air, a fresh breath uh, dropper. And finally, the detox tea. So I've teamed up with Dr. Schultz Herbs in America. Uh, I've never done a promotion on my channel, never done an ad, never have promoted any products until I decided with this opportunity, why not? The reason I chose Dr. Schultz is that he was a student of Dr. Christopher's tradition, the Natural School of Healing in the United States, which is the same school I studied herbal medicine in here in Ireland. So when I saw an opportunity to collaborate with Dr. Schultz, uh, I said I'd give it a try. And why not try with a liver detox and a kidney detox? So I'm going to do two reviews, unboxing and two reviews, starting with the liver detox. And the liver detox is going to take about five to seven days. And we'll see how it goes. I'll give some regular updates and do a review at the end, of course. Everything has to be supported with healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, and dealing with our emotions because if we don't take a holistic approach to our health, herbs will have a limited effect. So these herbs, what they're called, it's liver detox. It's really a liver support. Whether you have liver issues or not, we need to support our liver to do its job of breaking down uh, certain foods and producing bile and other byproducts for digestion. So let's have a deeper look at what's in the liver detox. So let's have a look at what's in the detox tea. Uh, you can see that there's a lot of um, root parts. So the root is a deeper, goes deeper into the body and with herbal uh, herbs for the liver we need to get deep in there. Dandelion root, burdock root, cardamom seed, cinnamon bark, ginger root, clove bud, fennel seed, licorice root, juniper berry, black peppercorn, uva ursi, horsetail, parodaco bark, parsley root, and orange peel. We'll see. So that's the, the tea. So next we're going to look at the detox tincture. Yeah, the light isn't very good there on that. So in the liver detox tincture we have red clover blossom, chaparral, orange grape root, burdock root, yellow dock root, poke root, golden seal root, fresh garlic bulb, lobelia herb and habanero pepper. Again that's supposed to last for about a week to ten days. So I'm looking forward to taking that with the detox tea. And then we have the liver and gallbladder formula. The liver and gallbladder formula contains milk thistle, dandelion root, Oregon grape root, gentian root, wormwood leaf and flower, chaparral herb, black walnut hulls, Hawaiian yellow ginger root, garlic bulb, fennel seed and archichote leaf and should be taken in one to two dropper fulls. Uh, in two ounces or 60 mils of water two to four times daily. So as I get ready for this um, liver detox, um, how healthy is my liver? Does it matter? Um, how important are these herbs for your liver if you're sick, if you're on medications? There are so many different factors to determine whether how quickly this works, whether it works, whether it's right for you. 
but I'm taking this as a healthy person on no medications with no health issues um, but wanting to restore my liver vitality we need to take care of our organs and herbs help to support that taking care of our organs um, they're not magic uh, they don't operate without your uh, participation if you're drinking alcohol if you're smoking if you have a very diet high in processed foods you need to start looking at your intake and using herbs then to support the restoration the, the rebuilding the nurturance of your liver very important for liver is emotional health if you're not looking after your emotion a particular anger and resentment is emotions that we can pack into the liver and store there and as a result uh, sedate the liver with other things like alcohol and salty and processed foods so it's really important to cleanse the liver so that you can hear the liver listen to the liver tune into the liver energy which will liberate you from being locked into patterns of anger and resentment and bitterness so we need to work emotionally on our liver, we need to work physically on our diet, we need to work uh, at a herbal level. And here's the herbal level, so let's get on with it. So it's just two, two tablespoons. We'll put that in there. So we add uh, 20 ounces of water, boiling water. So about 600 mils, so about there maybe, and we leave that soak overnight. See there, lovely goodness, full of goodness. So now let's try the liver detox. So we put in, let's say two ounces, 60 mils of water, small drop of water. And then I'm going to go for the, the two dropper full, so we'll enter that. It's half, half, half. It's two dropper So it smells pretty good. It smells like medicine. Or am I in shot? Mmm, I can taste the bitterness. Bitters are good for the liver, good for digestion. So that's going to be nice, okay. Um, probably best take the detox and the liver gallbladder at different times. Allow one to affect the other, so not to affect the other. And so I'm going to, I'm going to try the liver gallbladder maybe in about an hour or two before I go to bed. See you then. That's about one dropper full, so we're going to go for four half droppers. Mm. Yeah, some bitterness in there, so that's going to be good for the, the liver, the gallbladder. Release those digestive enzymes for better digestion and overall health. Welcome to day two of the detox, the liver detox, and I'm going to have my morning liver detox tea. That's good. Time for my liver detox on day two of my uh, liver detox. So I figured out that it's 20 drops and half of this full is 10. So two of these is really enough. tea that I brewed last night. I've strained it off. I'm going to drink it cold because it's a beautiful sunny day here in Ireland and uh, I'm going to get all the medicinal benefits. Let's we'll see how this tastes. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of astringent. There's a sweetness in there. Lovely flavours. Very nice drink. Mm. So later I'll take the uh, liver and gallbladder and then the liver detox, the two tinctures and for day one we'll keep you posted as we go through the week. Um, one of the things that you get when you cleanse your liver is a surge of energy 
there might be emotion energy that you don't want to experience it can be unreleased trauma from the past it can be emotional movements um, so you really need to be grounded when you're doing a detox and meditating doing some yoga doing some earthing forest bathing whatever you need journaling because some stuff some emotional stuff will come up uh, and that's part of the, the beauty of the detox so let's see you tomorrow So I just finished the liver detox. It took me longer than five days, probably about eight, nine days. I'm not sure why that was. Maybe I took less than the recommended dose, but I was taking the liver detox and the gall liver and gallbladder form formula twice a day as recommended. And I took the tea as well. Um, made a pot of the tea every day and took that. So really got a lot of liver support. Halfway through the detox, I could feel the energy shifting. I went right down. This can happen. The liver is a very important energy organ. It's the organ, according to the Chinese, where we store all our passion, our energy, and even our anger. So any hurt can be in there, and once you start moving your energy, your liver detox can move that energy and can bring you up energy high or bring you down. So I went down for about a day, then I came back out, then I got a bit of a head cold, and I think that's part of the liver cleansing as well, I'm not sure. So why do you need to do a liver detox? I'm not really sure why I needed to do it, other than that i partnering with uh, Dr. Schultz. I have always liked their herbs. He was a student of Dr. Christopher, which is a tradition that I was trained in. So I had a trust factor there. And the herbs were fantastic, great herbs. Uh, I'll list all those herbs in the description, but a really strong, um, uh, strong in the sense that really good herbs, foundational herbs for the liver. Um, and uh, did it make a difference to my liver? I'm not sure. Did I feel the energy shifting? Yes. Uh, would I recommend it? Yes, so long as you know why you're taking a liver detox. A liver detox has to be taken with caution. Uh, you may need to consult with a herbalist. It depends on so many factors. It depends on your, your health at the moment. Uh, is your is your health strong enough for liver detox? Um, are you on medications? The impact that that can have. So you really need to be careful when you're doing a liver detox because it's powerful stuff. These herbs are powerful and they will help to cleanse the liver, detoxify the liver and make the liver function better. The liver is great at restoring itself. So a liver detox is an essential thing as preventative health. But if you're in, in, uh, in poor health or under treatment, then it should be proceeded with caution. Um, yeah, uh, what more can I say? I love the tea. The tea was a really nice support tea. I love bitter, strong tasting teas, and this this had a, a strong taste. So I definitely like that. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, you tell me in the comments what you think of this video, what you think of the liver detox. Ask me any questions there. I bet definitely get back to you. There's a link in the description box if you want to get a discount on your first purchase. Check that out. I'll get a small percentage of every purchase that's bought. Let's be transparent here. This is not an ad, but in some way it is an ad. Um, you know, would I say anything bad about the, de the detox? Yes, I would if I had to. Um, I'm very honest. I've never partnered with any other product or company before. I did this one based on trust, so I definitely recommend it. These are herbs I, I've used in the past, I've used with clients, and I'll definitely use again. So it's a nice packaged liver detox. I'd recommend it. See you in a video very soon.